Hey YouTube, Chris here. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about the low filament sensor from EndlessParts.com. Uh, it's a real simple device and $25 when I clicked buy felt kind of steep for what it is. But what it is and what it does are worth two very different things, right? So what it is is a paddle switch, a momentary contact switch that is actuated by these bearings and the filament running between them, a battery, and this piezo here. What it does is removes worry from your brain. Right now it doesn't sound like much, but when you're 3D printing and your filament starts to run low, your roll starts to run low, it becomes this constant tick in the back of your brain. We are like, oh, should I go check on it now or is it probably fine? Right, and like I've had uh, moments where I've set alarms and you set the alarm for the wrong time. You come back and your printer's been printing air for who knows how long, right? Or you think, uh, no, there's enough filament there for it to run through the night. It'll be fine. It turns out to not be fine. Or you come back and check and like the filament's barely moved at all, right? What this lets you do is just walk away. As long as you're within earshot, you'll know when the printer runs out of filament because it makes this sound. It's fairly loud and it's a noise that you don't hear all the time. If you did, you'd probably end up stabbing yourself in the throat. <laughs> um, now when you buy it, it comes with a sticky back, a double-sided tape, and of course it has these um, zip tie rolls that you can see I've used. Now this white part doesn't come with it. This is a custom designed and printed uh, mount so I can mount it on top of the aluminum handle back there on my printer bot. One of these days I'll figure out my left from right so when I'm pointing at things you'll know what I mean to point at. Uh, <laughs> but yeah the filament just runs between the two bearings and then you know, one of the things that I've heard people say and I myself was kind of worried about was that this would add extra tension and kind of like a, a pull weight for the extruder and I have not experienced any problems where the extruder can't pull through this. Uh, they're, very, they're very good bearings on here and they're just actuated up and down just to demonstrate that it only works when you run out of filament. So I've got the filament in, it's on, it's armed. And then you pull it out, bam. Now this will work with 1.75 and three millimeter filaments. It's got different, um, but the actuator, there you go. The actuator for the uh, momentary contact switch, there's two different sizes for that. Um, you can actually see it in the picture here. There's the other one, can we get this bigger? But as you can see, it comes with a different color face plate, so blue isn't your deal, or whatever. You can do that. These face plates also give you access to the battery inside. Now I expect the way this is designed, that battery should last you quite a while, because you're not going to let it go for an hour like this, because then what's the point of having it if it's telling you you're low on filament? And just as an example, I ran out of filament yesterday, and this was the warning point it gave me. This is the length of filament left on the roll when it went off. Now obviously this wasn't even attached to the roll anymore. This was just free hanging in the air. But it went off, I saw this, came over, hit pause on Octoprint, changed out the filament, hit resume, went on. And it did that when I was printing replacement parts for this POS. Everybody remember this? Um, I was printing these white parts. I ran out of white filament. Expect another video on this thing coming soon. But, in conclusion, check it out. It's $25 if you're in the US, free shipping. Outside the US, $15 shipping. So the most this is gonna cost you if you only buy one is uh, Look at math. Yeah. So $40. Um, and like I said 
earlier, $40 seems like a lot for the sum of the parts. And you probably think, yeah, I could do that myself. If you can, great, do it. Um, but to me, $40 is worth the worry and constant nagging in the back of my brain that was happening without this little guy. Check it out. Think about it. Overall, I uh, enjoy it. I like it a bit. So, if you have one of these, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, if you found this video helpful, let me know. Um, over and out, watch your six. Check out the low filament sensor. Peace. Didn't mean to flip everybody off. I meant to do that.